earth. are you here? Um, Dad didn't know where you were and he asked me to find you. Okay, you found me. Congratulations. Now leave me alone. Do you have any idea how stupid it is for a girl your age to even be out here by herself? No, of course you don't. If you had half a brain, you wouldn't be out here in the first place. I'm 18. I can take care of myself. Oh, really? What's this then? Hmm. Did you take that from my truck? Dad's truck. And it was unlocked. <laughs> Come on, Finley. You can take care of yourself. I forgot to lock it, okay? I don't need a bodyguard. Really? Out here in the dark, all by yourself, and you'll be fine. Yes. You have something to defend yourself with? Maybe some nunchucks underneath that miniskirt? You're an idiot. Dad asked me to come and find you. Here I am. So you always do what Dad says? Yeah, I guess so. Still living at home, even though you graduated college. <laughs> That's kind of pathetic. When I'm done with high school next year, I'm out. Dad's still healing, you know that. I help him with stuff around the house. That's why I'm still there. Well, I'll be fine. Mara and Kate will be here any minute. Mara and Kate? Who's Mara and Kate? Just the most popular girls in school. And they're hanging out with you because... Thanks a lot. I'm serious. You've already got friends and they're not named Mara and Kate. What can I say? I'm moving up in the world. So these two girls all of a sudden want to be your friend? Is that so hard to believe? Is it so outrageous that I could actually be cool? So three girls out here in the dark all by themselves to do what exactly? We're going to watch for UFOs. <laughs> Is that a joke? No. This is a UFO hotspot. Mara and Kate thought it'd be fun. I see. <clears throat> and that's why you're all dolled up, is it? Mm. There's some guys coming. I see. So the truth finally comes out now. The UFO is really just an excuse for some smoochy time. Mwah. No. I don't even know what guys are coming. Oh, uh, really? Well. It might be Matt or Jacob. Maybe even Andy. So you don't even actually know. Maybe it's just a couple guys who got out of prison. Did I mention that you're an idiot? Because you are. Finley, you've got to be more careful than that. Maybe when you grow up, you'll finally understand that not everyone has their best interest in mind for you. Oh, and you do? Yeah, I do. I can choose with whomever I associate with on my own. I'm a legal adult now. <laughs> Is that funny? You have no respect for me, do you? I do find it hard. I don't want you to be here when I meet them. The last thing I need is for them to think I've got some weird stalker brother who won't leave me alone. I know exactly what you're gonna do when they get here. You're gonna start grilling them with questions, trying to figure out if they meet your approval. Well, guess what? They don't need to meet your approval. My apologies of being overprotective of my little sister. You're way beyond overprotective. You think you're some kind of gatekeeper for my life. When you actually start to show a little bit of wisdom is when I'll back off. No, you won't. You never did for Piper. I'm sorry. 
What? She didn't want another parent, and that's why she left you. Don't. You found someone who actually liked you, maybe even loved you, but you ran her into the ground with your incessant, overprotective- You don't even know what. I know enough. She didn't want another parent, and neither do I. Mom's gone, and you can't replace her. Someone had to pick up the slack somewhere. Well, maybe instead of trying to be the mom, you could have just tried to be a decent brother. Fine. I'll go. Guess you're a big girl now. Hey girls, Finley, there you are. Oh, you look so cute. <laughs> Did you find your way all right? Yeah, yeah. You guys excited for the UFOs? Oh yeah, are you out here all by yourself? No, you're here. Good point. <laughs> Is that their car? I don't think so, it doesn't look like Matt's. That's my big brother. Give me a minute. What are you doing here? Don't ruin this for me. Hey, ladies. Um, I'm Ethan, Finley's brother. Hi. He's cute. Just want to let you guys know that I'll be hanging out in my car until your other friends come here. Um, it's pretty dark out, so I want to make sure everybody was safe. You could hang with us. Appreciate the offer, but um, nobody wants an old guy hanging around anyway, so. Really, it's okay. Uh, thanks for the offer. Um, you guys have fun. I'll see you, sis. Your brother's really nice. Yeah, that was really sweet of him to check on his little sister like that. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, there they are. Hello, ladies. Hey, boys. Hey. hey. Boys. Ready to watch for UFOs? Oh, I'm ready. These guys think the whole thing's ridiculous, though. No, 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 no. I told you, I was curious. I want to believe <laughs> Please. <laughs> Finley, you know Matt and Jacob. And this is Andy. Hi, Finley. I've seen you around school, but I'm glad I finally get to meet you. Me too. What are we waiting for? Come on, let's go find a spot. 
time for a close encounter. <laughs> About the booze. I like you already. <laughs> Who's that? That was my big brother. He's headed home, I guess. It's too bad it would have been cool to meet him, but I guess next time? Yeah, maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> 